Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD. This is Laces and we're here in the Cypher Lab. So let's go ahead and continue on. If you walk over here you can get into a battle with this guy. He sends out a Clamp Pearl and a Corkfish. So, with Jolteon's Thundershock, should be pretty simple to take out. And I hopefully want to get Houndour purified before too, before they take too long in this dungeon. So, we'll go ahead and Shadow with Thundershock the Clamp Pearl. As you can see, Houndour is almost ready to be purified, so... Wow, even with the critical hit, it doesn't take out the Corkfish. Wow. Didn't think Corkfish really had that good of... Special... Or... You know... I th I'm not sure is... Hmm. I, I'm... I'm not quite sure if... Are there special and... Physical shadow attacks? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that one. So, anyways. So, as you can see, next battle, Hound Hour should be ready. And that actually wasn't too tough of a battle. So, we'll go ahead and continue on in this dungeon. Or, dungeon. I'd call this a. Yeah, I guess it's a dungeon of sorts. So, he runs off crying to his boss. So, we can't go there. We need the ID card for that. And so, it looks like going this way was just for a battle. And Houndour can now be purified. So, instead of continuing on in this dungeon, we are going to take a trip back to Agate Village real quick. And we are going to purify our Houndour. And we're actually going to give nicknames to... Jolteon and hand out hound hour while we're there so we'll go ahead and go out here oh that was wrong that's not where we want to go <laughs> let's go to the place where we actually want to go now all right so let's take a little trip down the ramp over the bridge and all the way to the back of the relic forest so here we go we're gonna purify our hound hour See, he just looks so badass. I really like him. I think he's my favorite fire type out of all the fire types in Pokemon. I just really, I think he's really cool. So we get Faint Attack, which is really good. And Charm, which is decent. And we leveled up. And that's about it. We get a ribbon. And, alright, let's see. Our nickname for our Houndour is going to be, let's see, let's see, let's see, what should we, what should it be? Let's call him, we will call him, excuse me, her, we will call her, um, Let's call her Shelly. We'll call her Shelly. That's her name. I know it's kind of a strange name for a badass Pokemon, but so be it. 
All right, now. Now we're going to take a journey. We're going to take a little trip to the Name Raider's house so that we can nickname our Jolteon. And if you recall from before, from a previous episode, the Name Raider is in this house right here. So. Alright, Jolteon, we're actually going to call you, you know what, we're going to call you Laces, just because you're cool, and you were my first Pokemon, so we'll give you my really cool name. So, now that we're done with that, we can head on back to where we were before. Alright, so, Poochyana can now be purified. Wow. Well, we'll do that later. Because we just left from there. And we'll see. No, we're not going to save. We will actually check and see if Teddy Ursa has any items, and he doesn't. So, we'll go ahead and heal up real quick. And then we will continue on in this lab. Alright, so now instead of going left, let's go down here and check what's in this door. Alright, apparently we can't open it from that side, so well, we'll go over here and get into a non-optional battle. So she sends out a Doduo and a Talo. And I send out Laces and Shelly. So we'll go ahead and we'll Thundershock the Talo and we'll go ahead and Ember. Totally unnecessary crit, but. Anyways, a crit is a crit, and we love them either way. <sighs> if you just heard me drinking lemonade, it's because lemonade is delicious, and I like it very much. So, though Duo used Peck, didn't really do much. So, let's just go ahead and finish him off. get some experience so once again not too tough of a battle and so let's continue on shall we if we go down here we'll reach an elevator going into a dark corner so he's talking about purification so that might mean he has a shadow Pokemon. But we'll see. So he sends out Anorith and Lilip. And, alright, so we'll go ahead and use Thundershock on Anorith, and we'll go ahead and Ember Lily. Don't 
collected a decent chunk. Alrighty, well, that really didn't do anything. I forgot, Lilip's very, he's a very defensive Pokemon. So, he, that's the first time I've actually seen Mud Sport be useful. Because I'm using electric attacks, so, wow, kudos. Anyways, I'll go ahead and Ember and Thundershock. Even though he weakened my power, it still will be enough to take it out. And look at that, Lisa's got another level. And Shelly's right there behind him. Looks like it's going to be a four hit KO. But again, he'll use Astonish, which is, does absol absolutely nothing. So we'll go ahead and Thundershock and Ember again. Look at that, a crit. And it, ooh, it's not very effective. So, looks like it still worked. And it looks like we got a level up from Shelly there. So, looks like I was wrong. He didn't have a Shadow Pokemon, even though he was talking about purifying. So, we'll just finish that and we'll move on. And we have another battle. This place is just full of battles, as I said before. So, he sends out a Swinub and a Shuppet. I really wish that Swinub was a Shadow Pokemon, because I would really like to use a Swinub, but anyways. We'll go ahead and bite the Shuppet. You know, just to get that super effective damage going on. And we'll go ahead and Ember the Swine Up for the same reason. And this girl actually has a Shadow Spin Rack, which I don't really... I'm not going to use it, so I'm just going to kill it. Because it's not really my style to use a Spinarak. Doesn't really learn that any good moves, so. Not for me. So we'll go ahead and. Go ahead and Thundershock and Ember it. So, down goes the spin rack. And down goes Cypher Peon Nexer. They really have strange names, but that's alright. I don't judge. Spin arc fled somewhere because I killed him, but that's okay. So, now we'll go over here and get this oddly placed box to get a revive. I believe that's our first one. Those are actually really good. We'll save that. We're well, not going to use them, but we'll save them for later because we. Some battles are tough in this game. It's not. This game's not a pushover by any means. So, we'll go ahead and continue up the stairs into a room with four little things with bubbles coming out. Four, like, pedestal looking things. But, looks like that's all the time we have for today. So, we'll just go ahead and save our progress up. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe to the Muffin Shot channel. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.